I am sick of this. Here's my political crusade, all right? It's 2006. Can we just get along? Can we just have Coke and Pepsi in the same building? Is it that big a deal? Do we have to draw a line everywhere? Yeah, exactly. Every time I go to a restaurant, what would you like to drink? Can I have a Coke? Oh, is Pepsi okay? Is Monopoly money okay? Because no, all right? Pepsi sucks. <laughs> drink root beer, all right? I hate root beer. Everyone, stop pushing stuff nobody wants, all right? Stop pushing stuff nobody likes, all right? Like orange popsicles. <laughs> nobody likes them, all right? Put the grape and the cherry in there and seal the box, all right? Nobody likes the orange, all right? Orange ain't gonna catch on, all right? Nobody likes it, because that's what happens. You eat the grape and the cherry first and all you got left is orange. And your mom's not gonna buy new popsicles because why didn't you finish the last box? Because all we got is punk ass orange, all right? That's why I need the last box, because orange sucks. Well, I'm not buying new popsicles. Well, there goes my whole freaking summer then, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I wish I was, I talked about more important stuff. People guilt trip me all the time. Shoot Bush said today, did you see a speech? No. <laughs> How could you miss that? I guess I got more channels than you do, dude, because, uh... Dude, I watch dumb stuff on TV. I get pulled in, you know? I get pulled in by Discovery. They own me, dude. Like, I just sit down, planning on watching TV, and like 10 minutes into it, I'm like, damn it, I'm learning. You know what I mean? Like, I'm... you know what they get me with is Loch Ness every time. Loch Ness, searching for Loch Ness again. And I know I'm going to be disappointed at the end of the show. Every show ends the same way. We didn't find anything. All right, that's great. I haven't been watching anything for a while. You ever have this problem? My cable went out like six weeks ago and I'm screwed. You ever have this problem? The cable goes out and the cable company just doesn't care? I called him, I'm like, yeah, I got fuzz. Can you do something? Well, we can't come out tonight. <laughs> we can come out on Monday between 10 a.m. and Thursday. You're gonna be home? Yeah, I'll probably be home, but that's none of your business, lady, you know? Then they ask you dumb questions, too. Like, you ever get on the phone with customer service and they ask you the dumbest stuff possible? Is your TV plugged in? I will freaking stab you, all right? I swear to God. Who, who unplugs the TV ever? You plug it in once and it stays that way till you move, all right? Nobody unplugs the TV. <laughs> I can't fix anything myself. I don't know how to fix, you guys know how to fix stuff? I can't fix anything. Like when I was a kid, my dad could fix stuff. Everything that broke in my, ha my house, my dad fixed it. You know, he'd break other stuff in the process, but he'd fix it, you know, like, like he'd fix my car. Yeah, it changed your brakes, but you ain't got no windshield wipers now, all right? I can't fix anything, and I always had to be his helper. He thinks I learned how to fix stuff because I had to help him all the time. And I don't know anything. I don't know how to fix anything. I call him now. I'm like, yeah, I got a car. I got to take my car, and I got to get the oil changed. He's like, you ain't got to take it nowhere. I taught you how to change oil. I'm like, you didn't see You taught me how to hold the light and get yelled at, all right? All right. <laughs> I don't ever fix anything. That's why I don't work. I can't do I, you know, I've tried work and it doesn't happen, all right? I, you know, I can't do it. Too lazy. I mean, I would, I, you know, if I had a real job, I guess I would care, but, you know, for six fifty an hour, you're lucky I'm wearing pants, all right? I don't care. But they expect you to care. Like, my last job was working at a golf course as a groundskeeper. They actually got mad. Hey, Caparulo, how come you missed the meeting? Because we cut grass. That's why I miss the meeting. What do we need to have meetings about? We do the same thing every day, dude. It grows and you cut it and you try not to get stung by a bee, all right? That's all we do. <laughs> I've never had a job I could be proud of, you know? Like my first job, I worked at Subway. Why do fat guys need everything on their sandwich? Why? It's just a sandwich. They come and give me lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, onions, olives, all kinds of peppers. Give me oil, salt, vinegar, bacon. You want cookies on your sandwich? You do, because uh, I can't even close it now, all right? I... Why are you so rude? I didn't know I was making Thanksgiving dinner for you on a bun, all right? It's a sandwich, right? It's... <laughs> it's not a nuclear war situation, all right? You're going to eat again in three hours, dude, all right? You're not a camel. You want chips and a Coke? How about a Pepsi? I'm going to punch you in the freaking face, all right? Nobody likes Pepsi. <laughs> I got to go. That's my time. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, thanks for
everybody's just happy to be here, you know? I, it's not, I perform in Hollywood where they're just there to judge. <laughs> but this crowd's great, man. I mean, I'm from Ohio originally, but I live in Los Angeles. But Canada just feels like a real big-ass Ohio. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a fun place. I love coming here. I want to come here every year. Tell them. I like this place. How you guys doing? You having fun? Well, I'll fix that. I watch way too much sports. My wife doesn't even get it. She's like, I don't get you, you know? You go to the game, then you come home, you watch the highlights on SportsCenter, the game you just went to. <laughs> then the next day you read about it in three different papers on the internet. What are you, slow? Are you a simpleton? What, is there a test on this stuff? They lost. Seven to three, they're not coming back. Get over it. She's like, why do you care so much? Do you think your team cares that much about you? Do you think they're in the huddle going, we got to win this game for Capanera? He's a big fan. He really cares about us. And when we lose, he feels like a loser. He's insecure. No, they're not. Do you think they're going to invite you to the parties when they win? You're not getting a call. Get over it. You don't know what it's like to cheer for a team since you've been seven. You've never been affiliated with a team. You grew up in Iowa. What you cheer for, corn? <laughs> Come on, corn, grow! Hope we have a good harvest. She's like, what's the best thing that could happen, John, if they win it all? Well, what do you get to say? My team's better than your team? My city's better than your city? I'm associated with the winner and you're not? Yes! <laughs> but you know, the truth of the matter is, folks, you gotta have it. You gotta have teams to cheer for. It keeps people going, it's fun, it's something to do. What about the guy that has nothing? You know, he comes home from work, he's got no wife, no kids, no girlfriend. He sits there with a Domino's pizza and a six pack and his team. And his team gets him through the night. He's not out stalking people or plotting terrorist acts because he's got a team to cheer for. Maybe if people in Iraq and Palestine had a team to cheer for, they wouldn't be blowing themselves up. That's the problem over there. These people have nothing to do. There's no bowling alleys, no golf courses, no casinos or cruise ships or community theater. You'd become a suicide bomber too if you had to live in a cave and crap in a hole every day. You know, you can't smoke, you can't drink, no sports, no cinemas, you gotta pray five times a day. People are lining up to commit suicide. Where's that suicide bomber line? I'll take one for the team. Put a stick of dynamite in my ass right now. In fact, put two sticks up there. I don't survive with half an ass. <laughs> These people blow themselves up just to give them something to do. The suicide teacher turnover must be outrageous. All right, I'm only gonna show you this once. Get a hobby. Put up some volleyball nets. You got all that sand over there. Play beach volleyball. You know, get a soccer team together. Call yourself the Suicide Bombers. It doesn't mean you actually blow yourself up. It's just the name of your team. Go Bombers! You can sell falafels in the stands. Get your red hot falafels. Go Bombers! It's something to do. These people are car bomb crazy. You get the feeling the Iraqis don't trade their cars in? <laughs> hey, Abib, you're gonna trade it in, get a new one? I'm gonna blow it up. <laughs> it's a piece of crap. The air conditioning's broke, the seats are all torn up, I'm blowing that piece of crap up. <laughs> and what's a used car salesman like over there? It's only been blown up one time by a little old lady. Look, she's got a hole in the floor. You can stop it like flitzos. Couple of air fresheners, you can hardly smell the smoke. 